Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be doing a live reaction to the Emmy nominations. Uh, it's my first reaction I've done since the Oscars uh, in, in January, February. This is the first time I've ever done a live reaction to the Emmy nominations, and it's it's meaningful in, in a couple ways. For starters, I really like enjoy doing the the live reactions to like the Golden Globes, Critics' Choice, and the Oscars. So why not do television? I mean, it makes sense. Secondly, I think that this past year has has been arguably the best year for television. I recognize that some of the stuff from last year was nominated in last year's Emmys, but there was a whole, there was a still like half of a year where there was just amazing stuff, and honestly, there's been some pretty amazing stuff this year too. And I'm just really curious to see if some of the stuff that I loved, like a whole lot, gets nominated, and I, I want to see those shows get love. Stuff like Watchmen, Better Call Saul, this past season, season of Ozark, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets three to four acting nominations because it, it was really that good. And I'd like to see if you know other stuff that that the old reliable like like Brooklyn Nine Nine stuff like that gets nominated. So I'm just really curious. So I'm just waiting around to see what gets nominated. Uh, All right, here we go. Do this. Let's do this. Okay. Our first category is outstanding lead actor in a comedy series. Here we go. And the nominees are Anthony Anderson. Blackett. Don Cheadle, Black Monday. I haven't watched either of these. <laughs> Ted Danson. Okay. The Good Place. See, he was he was amazing. Michael Douglas, The Kaminsky Method. Man, haven't seen it. Eugene Levy, Shit's Creek. I'm ashamed to say I've only seen like one episode of that show. Oh. Rami Yusuf, Rock. I'm behind on the 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 award worthy These comedies. For outstanding lead Six. The comedy <clears throat> I believe they bumped it up to eight for the uh, the comedy series uh, nomination, Next like the actual like series. The though. For outstanding lead in a comedy I'm sure I probably haven't seen a lot of these either. I need to watch it. Rachel Brosnahan, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. <laughs> Haven't, seen it. Haven't seen it. Linda Cardellini, Dead to I, Yet again. I'm sure it's great. Catherine O'Hara, Shit's Creek. I'm sure it's great. Issa Rae, Insecure. That's a good show. I, I, re I really, really like that show. Tracy Ellis Ross, Black. These are the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actor. I would have liked to see some, maybe some Allison Brie Love for a uh, Glow. Because I think that show is, like, it's my favorite show on Netflix. <laughs> outstanding Variety Talk Series are The Daily Show. Who really cares? New categories. for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. Ozark? Yeah, he was great. Sterling K. Brown. This is a I'm sure he's great. He's good in everything. Just haven't watched the show. Steve Carell, The Morning Show. Wow. I mean, he was good, but wow. Ryan Cox, Succession. Billy Porter, Pose. I still haven't watched it. Where's Bob Odenkirk? <laughs> what? Now we have the nominees for outstanding Bob Odenkirk for Better Call Saul? Hmm. Jennifer Aniston, The Morning Show. I mean, she was great. She was great. Olivia Coleman, The Crown. I just thought. Jodie Comer, Killing Eve. She, she's the best thing about the show. Yeah, she's also the best thing about the show. Sandra O, oh, Killing Me. Yeah. Zendaya, Euphoria. I've heard good things. 
I'm just, my, my, my mind is boggled by uh, Bob Odenkirk not getting nominated for Best Lead Actor in Better Call Saul, which is the best show of this current year so far. And the best performance he has laid down as an actor yet was from this season. I'm still annoyed about Bob Odenkirk. Okay. Thank you. Hugh Jackman, Bad Education. Didn't watch it. Paul Mescal, Normal People. I'd like to see Aaron Paul get nominated here, but wishful thinking. Jeremy Pope, Hollywood. Mark Ruffalo. I can't see what it says. I know this much is true. <laughs> Hey, Jeremy Irons, you know, Watchmen was my favorite thing from last year, so. And the nominees for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited Series or Movie Regina are King. Kate Blanchett, Mrs. America. But I heard she was amazing. Shira Haas, Unorthodox. I've never even heard of that. Regina King. Watchmen. Thank you. After getting snubbed by the Golden Globes, so. Octavia Spencer, self made. <sighs> Carrie Washington, little fires everywhere. These are the nominees for outstanding. I'm, st I'm still on that Better Call Saul thing because policy. that worries me that it won't get nominated for Best Drama Series, which would be uh, crazy. And It'd be crazy. <laughs> it would be. Watchmen. Little fires everywhere. Mrs. America. I still I need to watch it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable is great. Unorthodox. Watchmen. Watchmen. Hoping that Watchmen clean sweeps <laughs> and it, it wins everything that it's nominated for. That would be that'd be a huge bonus of. Bob Odenkirk not getting nominated. It would, it would make up for it in some way. Comedy series. I'm sure I've seen one of these. <laughs> the good... Yes. Amazing ending. Insecure. I still think Glow should should have got in there. Whoa, yeah! Well, we, wow. What we do in the shadows is like inarguably the funniest show on television. It may not be the best out of all those shows, but it's the funniest. Like it is it is really really funny. And this this newest season was was even better than the first season. And to me, it's surpassed the movie probably. Okay, Better Call Saul got nominated for drama series. It was an okay third season. The Mandalorian? Oh, of course. <laughs> Ozark. Stranger Things and Possession. Those are the outstanding drama series. You guys, congratulations, nominees. Yes! You guys, we did it! We did it! We did it, you guys! We I think that's all. That's all. Um. Uh. Aside from the obvious omission of of Bob Odenkirk for Best Actor, um. Did they not do supporting actor or supporting actress in any of these? Let's. Okay, I finally found the full list of the Amy nominations. It took me forever <laughs> to find it, and uh, let's see. The first one we have here is Outstanding Supporting Actor. In a comedy series, and Andre Brower, Brooklyn Nine Nine, first one listed. He's amazing. I think he should get nominated every year. Uh, William Jackson Harper for The Good Place, also amazing. Uh, that that may be his first Emmy nomination, actually. Uh, Alan Arkin, The Kaminsky Method. Uh, 
Sterling K. Brown, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Tony Shalhoub, Marvelous Mrs. May Maisel, Mahershala Ali, Rami, Keenan Thompson, Saturday Night Live. And that's a that's a good one, I think, because he's been on the show for so long, and I think he's finally getting the credit that he deserves as a, as a comedic actor, and, and how well he does in those those sketches. It's just he, He's really, really consistent. And Daniel Levy on Schitt's Creek. Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series, Giancarlo Esposito, Better Call Saul, he plays Gus Fring, uh, amazing. We have Bradley Whitford, The Handmaid's Tale, he was really, really good. Billy Crudup, The Morning Show, he was the best thing about The Morning Show. Mark Duplass, The Morning Show, also uh, very good. Nicholas Braun, Succession, Kieran Culkin, Succession. Matthew Matthew McFa Matthew McFadden succession and Jeffrey Wright in Westworld. Uh, no Jonathan Banks in Better Call Saul, which is is, is a little upsetting. A support uh, supporting uh, actor in a limited series or movie. We have a couple from Watchmen here. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> just read just reading these off. Uh, there are two nominations for Watchmen. Uh, We've got the guy who played uh, Cal slash Dr. Manhattan. Uh, I, I cannot pronounce his name. And uh, we have the guy who played Officer Will Reeves and, and also Hooded Justice. You know, Joven, <laughs> Joven Ad Adipo. And uh, he, was, he was in The Leftovers. And he was in uh, uh, When They See Us. And... I, I, this is an unexpected nomination. Uh, in in the one episode he was in, he was amazing. So that's that's awesome. And we also have Lou Gossett Jr. for Watchmen. So that's three nominations in this category for for Watchmen, which was totally unexpected. And I don't think anybody expected that. Uh, I don't think anybody expected any of these nominations here. Wow. That's Outstanding supporting actress in a comedy series. Uh, we finally got Darcy Carden as Janet from The Good Place. Uh, she just she has so much to do on that show, and she 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 kills it over and over again. Betty Gil Betty, Betty Gilpin in Glow uh, sort of makes up for the lack of Alison Brie nominations here, but yeah, still still good. And uh, those are, those are the two stand out for me because those are the two that I that I like the most. Uh, these other, other nominations are, are deserving. Obviously, Kate McKinnon gets nominated roughly every year. And uh, Alex Borstein, I believe, gets nominated every year for The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. As I'm looking at the Outstanding Supporting Actress in a, in a Drama Series, uh, I can see that, that Rhea Seahorn didn't get nominated for Better Call Saul either. And she uh, just crazy underrated uh, performance. She was She's amazing. She is arguably the best thing about the show. So a little upsetting there, but mm, what can you do? Julie Garner got nominated for Ozark. That was pretty expected. So th that's my reaction to the Emmy nominations. I think that they made uh, a, like a huge, crucial error. Uh, first off, nominating Steve Carell for lead actor for the morning show. Uh, he's he's good. Uh, he's probably maybe the fifth or sixth best thing about that show. But uh, nominating him over uh, Bob Odenkirk for Better Call Saul is just is pretty unforgivable. But there, there's honestly so many Watchmen nominations, like so many unexpected Watchmen nominations, that it's just it's it's a it's a nice surprise, and to see what we what we do in the shadows get nominated for best comedy series, which maybe some people uh, had speculation that that was going to happen, but most people didn't have it on the on their radar for the nomination. So that's pretty cool. I'm just sort of bummed about the Better Call Saul thing because that means that it's probably definitely not going to get nom it's definitely not going to win uh, best drama series. It did get nominated, but it's probably not going to win. Instead, that they nominate some some really like like poppy stuff. <laughs> I know this isn't music, but I, I like to consider Stranger Things as a pop show. It's pretty undeserving of of any best drama nomination that it has ever gotten. I just I don't see it as that. It's just a, a pop fun show. Uh, but yeah, what can you do? Uh, that, that's my reaction. Sort of bummed. Sort of. Uh, sort of uh, exhilarated by the fact that so many Watchmen nominations, so it's sort of mixed emotions. Uh, what did you think about the nominations this year? It was definitely a mixed bag. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.